They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> okay, at least Zerks can't jump very well. Hello and welcome along to part three of Stray. So we found all the notebooks. Now we're about to follow Momo to see where he takes us. But before we begin our quest, if you are new here, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get going. There's a ball on the floor. <laughs> no, I don't want to claw his carpet. Play with the ball. No. Okay, let's just follow Mo Momo. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. Okay, we got the transceiver. Let's go stick it on the building that's really tall. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay, the Zerks are those little things, aren't they, that tried to eat me earlier. Okay, we need to get to that building there. Oh my god. How? Right, let's hope we don't... The rooftops. Let's hope we don't meet many Zergs. Don't meow to attract enemies. <laughs> run away, run away, get off, get off, get off. Oh my god, the Zerks are getting me. Oh, are they following? No. Oh. I don't like how you have to be quick. Oh, look at those little zergy things. Don't like them. <laughs> Anything that wants to eat a cat is not nice. Oh, got the memory. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people can't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not long after, everyone started putting up lots of lights in their home. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. What are we doing up here? Oh, I see. We're going to jump on there again and it will spin more. Yeah. Don't meow. There's Zerks about. We need to move this barrel somewhere, I think. Yeah, over here, look. Ooh, come on, clever kitty. <laughs> yep. Right, keep my eyes open for Zerks. I think we're safe at the moment. It's a very brave cat. No! Oh, no! Oh. oh dear. Hack door. Oh god, the Zerk's coming. Gonna need to be quick here, I think. Mm. 
Nice. Have a good look at them now. They're quite cute, actually. <laughs> They're really quite cute. I quite like them. <laughs> They're funny. <laughs> I don't like the noise they're making. It sounds like they're going to break through. Okay, here we go. Oh, I feel like there's a memory over here. Oh, God, there's a, there's a Zerks. It's like Zerk eggs. I'm scared they're going to hatch. Can you jump up there? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm not liking this. It's starting to get scary. Oh, there's Zerks everywhere. Okay, we can't attract them. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> okay, at least Zerks can't jump very well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I don't like the Zerks. <laughs> They're stressful. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be... I don't know. Oh. Don't know what I do here. I think we have to let them out at some point and then run. Let's get this memory first. While we're here. Nico Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing eating way more than trash and now we have zerks let's go right we need to do this They're like a bacteria. Oh, oh. Oh, what are they doing? Are they dying? Weird. so stressful now. The first two episodes, it wasn't too bad. And now I'm just running away from Zerks. 
I want that ultraviolet thing that I can shine at them to kill them. <laughs> let's, let's pull this lever, I guess. See what happens. Pull the lever, crunk. Oh, we started to lift. Oh my god, there's Zerks everywhere. Come on, lift! Come on, lift! Oh, the lift's nearly here. Come on. No, 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 We don't want to be over there until the lift is down. Okay, we need to do another loop before we go over there. Look at them. Well done, Morris. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like the Zergs. <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not my sort of thing. They're quite cute looking, to be fair. But no, just no. I'm scared to walk on the floor, basically, now. Uh, we want this. We did it. We got the communication device set up. So we have to get, like, fight our way back past the Zergs again now. Okay, we can, we've got a bucket ride home. That's good. <laughs> I didn't want to have to avoid Zergs. Look at the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars. But they're only lights marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside. But it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you came from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Right, let's get in the bucket. Whee! <laughs> oh, Morris. <laughs> Look at you in your bucket. <laughs> oh, it's a bucket straight to his house. That's nice. Right, the slums, part two. Morris, where are you? Where's he gone? Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. 
I took equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Be careful, it is case sensitive. <laughs> See you at the bar, Momo. This must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Hmm, it was an, an H, I think. Wrong key. Oh dear. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try again. And then it was... Oh, or was it... Oh, let's see. Success! <laughs> it worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. To the floor. Hey, little furball. Name's Morris. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Oh, I've got to sit on the chair. Oh, he's petting me. Oh, I need a purr button. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? I don't know why that one's got a robotic voice and none of the others have. <laughs> Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Sablasia? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Sablasia. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. Can't believe it. Zablasio is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if Zablathia made it, there must be a way. I need a light gun to kill the Zergs. You never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zergs. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. Doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. But I need to find my family. I don't have a choice. Seamus? His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Is that the ultraviolet gun thing that I found the notebook about? Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Aww. I've made a friend. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. He's not letting us in, is he? Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outside anymore. He won't help me. But you? I think I have an idea. Oh, is there a secret passage? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with the others. Seamus. Oh dear. What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait. 
Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat. But <laughs> where? <laughs> oh. I don't know the code. We need to find the code. Let's knock some more paintings off the wall. <laughs> Silly Morris. Translate. Time will tell. I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I've no idea what the password could be. Is it just numbers? Yeah. Time will tell. Uh, I'm looking at the... Oh, okay. 2511? Hell yeah. <laughs> the time did tell. Oh, there's Zergs. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside to the slums and he never came back. Find anything interested in here? Not yet. Let me carry on looking. Oh, it's a box. <laughs> okay, I found something interesting. Wait, come here. No, talk to me. Yes, I found this. A broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open a door for you. Grandma clothing. Oh, can we get dressed and stuff? Oh, Grandma likes me. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me. But it's not easy to find the right materials around here. I will look my best because I would love a poncho. Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Is this a knock? <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Oh, I'm in. No, I can't actually talk to him. Oh, let's go upstairs, see what's up here. Oh, look at his Elliot look. This looks like the sort of person that's going to fix our tracker. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, I've got this broken tracker. Oh, wow, that's a great tracker. Recognize this model. It's a Tahomi BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Right, we need some electrical cables. Oh, this is the Bartman look. I want this cable. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's that's it's as simple as that. 
This is a set of electrical cable, the best off the market. I'll exchange it for a super spirit detergent. I've already got one of those. I stole it earlier. Here you go. Gained a new item. Yeah, I brought you, I've, I've got it, I've got it. Thank you, dear. I'll get to work right away. We gained a poncho. There you go, little one. It will suit you well. I don't know how a poncho made for me is going to fit Elliot, but <laughs> ours is not to reason why. Hey. I'm back. Yeah, I know. You're cold. Look, I've got your poncho. How's this? Where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. I don't know how it fits you. It's made for me. <laughs> That's a pretty good poncho made from electrical wire. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update. And one more thing. Voila. We gained the tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Why, right, thank you. Right. I'm guessing we need to go find... Just ask him. Now that the track is fixed, let's go find Seamus and track down his papa. Oh, where is he? Where's Seamus gone? Um, oh, do you need the sheet music, mate? <laughs> Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Well... I'm the cat for you. Ballad of the Lonely Robots. I think I can play this, look. Aww. We can have a little nap while he plays. And on that note, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me just turn him down a bit. He's a bit loud. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you made it to the end of the video and you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you know anyone else who would like to see some videos about cats, please share. And if you want to see more of my content and you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub. But until next time... I've been El Gran Queso, and remember, be nice to people. Bye!